of the Constitution. As you plead with us to approve your nomination to this very high office. Thank you. I'll give to the debut speaker. Again, Honorable Luahome, congratulations. As a woman, I'm immensely proud of your, your getting this far. Um, as she you know... She said the same to any man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. With a light touch. She has Possibly not practicing said the same to any man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's called positive discrimination. Um, as you, I mean, I see that uh, part of your docket will deal with the sanitation. And as you know, 73% of the plastic waste generated uh, in Kenya remains uncollected and unrecycled, which is something that can produce energy uh, for, you know, for the, 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 the cities around Nairobi. Uh, how do you plan to make a change to this tide and ensure that recycling and proper sanitation does, in fact, become a thing of the order of the day? Thank you. Yes, Junet. Thank you, Mr. Chair, Speaker Chair. Chair, I wanted to ask uh, the nominee that uh, the docket that she has been nominated for is a docket that requires it is services all over the country. Water is essential and water is required all over the country. So I wanted to ask her, uh, to ask the nominee, how well does she know Kenya outside Kandara? and outside Siakago Girls High School. What is her grasp of the country? Does she know outside Kandara how the country looks like? The second question I wanted to ask, and my last one is, there is a matter that came up in 2016, I think I was in Parliament, when uh, 